The Canvas Inbox is an internal messaging system that you and your students can use to communicate. The Inbox is different from email because it can only be used for communication between yourself and students who are in your courses. Students also can communicate with you and with each other through the Canvas Inbox. Sometimes you'll hear the inbox referred to as Canvas email, but that's really a misnomer since it's limited just to Canvas users who are in a course together. You'll know you have unread messages in your Canvas inbox when you see a number next to the inbox icon. As mentioned in the tutorial video on the Canvas account menu, by default, notifications are set so that you will get an email sent to your CCC faculty email account or another email account if you've added one, whenever a student sends you a Canvas inbox message. That email will contain the student's message and you can reply to the student straight from your CCC email. You can filter your inbox by clicking on the Courses drop-down menu and selecting the course that you want to view the messages from, and that will pull up just the messages from that particular course. In addition to being able to view inbox messages, you can also select Submission Comments in this drop-down menu. If you have an assignment that you have returned to a student and the student comments on their submission, you can find that comment here instead of having to go to SpeedGrader in the assignment. If you want to compose a message, you'll click on the Compose Message icon at the top, and you will select the course that you want to send the message to. Just as an FYI, students have a pencil and paper icon at the top, the way everyone did before a recent Canvas update, not a button that says Compose. You can type the first few letters of the name of the student that you're messaging in the To field, or you can just click on the address book here, or select the role of the person that you are messaging and select their name from the list. You can also message multiple students at once, or you can click on All in Students to easily message all the students in your course. If you're messaging multiple students and check the send an individual message to each recipient box, it will keep the email thread for each student separate instead of creating a group message. Just like with an email, you would insert your subject line, put the body of your message here, and you can attach a file by clicking on the paperclip. This button allows you to record or upload media. After you've sent a message, you can view it by clicking on the drop-down menu and selecting the Sent folder. When you click on a message in the left panel, it opens in the right panel. Click the second arrow to reply and click on the three dots for more options. From here, you can reply all if there is more than one person in the message thread. You can forward the message to someone else that is in the same class. You can star a message or you can delete it. You can also check the box next to a message or multiple messages, and then click the options at the top to mark all as on read, forward, or star the messages. You can also archive or delete multiple messages at once. You'll notice that forwarding is an option, but you can only forward a message to someone that is in the same class as the person that sent the message you're forwarding. Click on the gear at the top to access the Canvas inbox settings. This is a relatively new feature that allows you to set an out of office message with start and end dates and whatever away message you would like to put. You can also scroll down to add a signature block that will automatically show up at the end of your Canvas inbox messages. While the Canvas inbox is useful and allows instructors to keep all their messages for a given class in one place, it does have its limitations. As of now, there is not a rich content editor function as part of the inbox, so you can only put plain black text in a message. Fonts, colors, and images can't be added. And while you can respond to students' inbox messages straight from your CCC email, be aware that you can't send attachments that way. If you need to send a file attachment to a student, do it directly from the inbox within Canvas. Another limitation is the lack of folders or any other way to organize messages. You can archive or delete messages or star them for easy access later, but other than that, you have just one long list of messages. Messages don't archive automatically at the end of the semester, and currently the search function brings up a list that contains every CCC Canvas user. 
so it can be very difficult to find an individual message in the inbox within the massive list. However, students do tend to use the Canvas inbox automatically as their way of contacting instructors. So even if it's not your preferred method of communication, it is recommended that you check your inbox periodically and or have your messages sent to your CCC email account.